Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and our Harley Benton MB4 is back, and now it has a trick up its sleeve. Let's check it out. This is our Harley Benton MB4 Deluxe. I already reviewed this base and I gave it a 4 out of 5 claw rating for its ridiculous price tag at $120 and it's very good quality. The pickup is great sounding and the only thing that was really lacking was a preamp. This base was wired passive with a volume knob for each of the coils and a master tone. However, we ditched that setup completely and installed a Tone Monster 2 band preamp. Now this is a different Tone Monster than the one we looked at in our Tone Monster SUB. And this particular line has an adjustable gain on the preamp module and a bit more kick to it. The frequency controls actually do a fair bit and I think it complements this bass nicely. If you want to see more information on this bass in its stock form, be sure to check out my full review and that's linked in the description below. But I know you guys are wondering, how's this thing sound? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. This bass now features a two band Tone Monster SEB2. Would I recommend purchasing this bass and installing one of these yourself? No, and here's why. The Harley Benton does not have a battery box stock. You have to have one installed yourself or get someone to do it for you. I had my tech Dom do it. I have a router, but I don't have time. So Dom did it and Dom did a great job. Um, and this now has the preamp fully installed and functional. This preamp is around $60 and is the higher end preamp of the Tone Monster line versus the SBK series, which we looked at with the uh, SUB base. This is also a much hotter preamp. It actually has an adjustable gain on the preamp module itself. And I had to turn that down quite a bit because this thing is spicy. Now the original preamp does come with a balance knob. I removed that and wired the pickup in parallel straight to those wires. So basically wired the pickup straight to the preamp and it's good to go. So as I mentioned, this is a two band preamp, but the controls are a little bit reversed. So over here, you have your bass control, and over here, you have your volume control. The ground wire from the volume was a little bit too short for me to mount it in the proper position, so the bass and the volume controls are switched on the control plate. The treble control is in the middle. One other small obstacle that I encountered with this particular preamp is the size of the preamp module, as it's very similar to the size of the Bartolini, which is quite large and not really made for a Stingray application. I did have to route out quite a bit of material from the control cavity to make room for it, um, but I did get it to fit no problem, and once we got the battery box installed and wired up, it's good to go. What you've heard thus far was with the preamp centered, or ish, because there's no center notch on these preamps, but let's listen to that one more time. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's go ahead and cut the bass and cut the treble, turn everything down and see what that sounds like. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's check out this bass control first and go ahead and center that and see what that sounds like by itself. Thank you. 
Man, this thing has some kick to it, and that's with the gain turned almost all the way down. This definitely has a lot more kick than the SBK series, which we looked at in our SUB in the other videos. Now, let's go ahead and turn the bass up to about 50% boost. Very nice, very nice. That's fat. I probably wouldn't turn that up to 100% as you get a little bit of distortion, at least with uh, my current setup here. However, if you turn the internal gain down a bit more, I bet you wouldn't have those issues. Now let's go ahead and cut the bass and bring the treble up to center-ish. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. It definitely adds some bite. Now let's go ahead and boost the treble to 50% while keeping the bass cut. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, keeping the treble at 50%, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the bass up to center. sounds really good. This sounds really good and the total price for everything, not including shipping, was less than $200 for the preamp and the bass together. That's right, less than $200. However, the cost for installing the battery box was not free and the Dremel, which I had to use to route out some of the material in the control cavity, was not free either. So if you're looking to tinker with this, make sure you have the appropriate tools. Otherwise, I would say go for an SUB as it already has the battery route and uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It has the battery route, you have your box, you can plug in your preamp. It's a lot easier to remove some material in the control cavity versus routing out a battery box as well. So that requires a bit more time and effort. If you're willing to put in the time and effort or pay someone to do it, then hey, this isn't a bad modding platform. However, keep in mind that the SUB though it has a different neck profile, also has the battery box included. Now, I know you guys are wondering, how did she slap? <laughs> Slaps good. Slaps real good. 
I think this preamp definitely adds a lot of zing and spice to this bass. However, the installation process, again, isn't for the lighthearted. And finally, what does this thing sound like with some drums behind it? My final thoughts on my Harley Benton MB4 with the Tone Monster SEB preamp. Honestly, I think this is a great little package. I wish that the Harley Benton came with a battery box stock, however I do believe the dual humbucker model with the active preamp does have a battery box, or at least a rear control cavity route, which would give you some more expandability options versus this bass. A different direction that you could take this bass is doing a passive, more GNL L1000 type control mod where you have a separate passive bass and treble control that are a bass cut and a treble cut. That would be pretty interesting. Maybe in a future Harley Benton. Finally, this bass is part of the 2020 holiday 4,000, 5,000 subscriber, yada yada, whatever, giveaway. So this is our second place prize, first place being the EMG SUB. So be sure to enter. There's a separate video for that that I'm going to have linked in the description below that will go over the details of how you can win this base. Now, as I mentioned before, the installation process for this is not for the faint of heart. You have to get a battery box installed, and I did have to remove quite a bit of material from the control cavity to fit the rather large preamp module. There's probably some other mods out there that you could do without having to route away any additional material. However, we didn't go down that route this time. Let me know what you think about this base, the final product here with the Tone Monster preamp. Leave a comment down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about my Harley Benton MB4 with a Tone Monster preamp. And good luck to everyone entering that holiday giveaway. And as always, until we groove again.